welcome back to Beauty Block. For this week's look, it was inspired from New York's Fashion Week. Ever since I started my career many, many years ago, I always looked into fashion for inspiration. I always thought they were the lead trendsetters for what's to come. I always look forward to New York's Fashion Week aside from others. I know Paris, London, Milan always have great looks as well, but New York has always had my heart. So I came across this image from a designer, I can't even say the name, but they had um, a Mac artist who did this stunning look. It's really natural and this pop of dual color lip was everything. So I had to recreate it. I obviously did my twist, which is a little more glam than, than what was on the runway. But of course this is something that you could always switch up to your own style. Even though this is a very striking look with a two-toned lip, I still think it's extremely wearable and really pretty and feminine. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Starting off with my base, I'm going to be applying MAC Strobe Cream. It's this lightweight luminous cream and I'm going to apply it as my base before my foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing up two foundations. Revlon's Nearly Naked, which is really lightweight, but it gives off a satin finish. And just for extra coverage, I'm going to be mixing in Makeup Forever's HD foundation. I'm also going to be using a lightweight concealer. This is MAC Prep and Prime in the color Light Boost. It has a yellow undertone to brighten. And I'm going to highlight all of my usual spots, which is under my eyes. In between my eyebrows, down the bridge of my nose. My cupid's bow and my chin. I'm going to blend it out with a brush from Stila in 3-3-A. Now before I set this, I'm going to jump into cream contour and I'm going to be using my Cover FX Quad in the color Medium Deep. I'm going to be taking the shades 3 and 4 from the palette, which are the two darkest.
highlight and my con my cream contour. I'm gonna go in with this duo palette from Makeup Forever, the Sculpting Kit in number two. I'm gonna use the lighter side for my concealer and the darker side for my cream contour. So I'm going to be using this blush in the in the color Nectar Peach by Ben Nye. For my highlight, I'm going to go into the Contour FX palette again, and I'm going to be taking that cream highlighter in number two. And to set the cream, I'm going to be using MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. For this look, the eye was really, really simple and natural. Most of the focus was on the ombre lip. I'm gonna be mixing two colors from Morphe brushes. These are their single shadows in 13 and 14. They're both matte and have a warm undertone. And I'm just gonna sweep them back and forth all over my lid. For lips, the artist used a matte red and a matte pink. I believe he used Max Cherry lip liner on top, and for the bottom, he used Relentlessly Red. Now, I do have Relentlessly Red, but I wanted to switch it up and use Melt Cosmetics. And for my red, I'm gonna be using Belladonna Number no. 2 Red Lipstick. And I'm gonna apply it just to the top of the lip. I'm going to be mixing the color Stupid Love and Shady Lady.
and this is a completed look. Thank you so much for watching, and until next week with another look, we'll see you then. Bye!